Welcome to the Sharkpreneur Podcast with Kevin Harrington and Seth Green. Kevin Harrington is the inventor of the infomercial, one of the original sharks from the hit TV show Shark Tank, and has generated over $5 billion in TV and digital direct response sales. Seth Green is the world's first trusted authority on cutting edge direct response marketing, a best-selling author, and the only three-time Marketer of the Year nominee. On the podcast, Kevin and Seth interview sharkpreneurs who share straight talk on what it takes to explode your business. Why do so many businesses struggle while others seem to explode overnight? Do you wish you had the secret to this type of exponential growth? Now, I've scaled more than 20 businesses to over $100 million, and it's not just luck. In my new book with Mark Tim, Mentor to Millions, you'll learn the repeatable framework I use in all my business ventures for massive success. Order at KevinMentor.com and get over $1,000 in bonuses. Head to KevinMentor.com. Welcome to the podcast. This is your host, Seth Green. Today, I have the good fortune to be joined by Paul Baratero, Chief Executive Officer of Synergy Science and the founder. Paul's been a pioneer and leader in the hydrogen water industry for 15 years. He's labored to bring to market cutting-edge science-based natural healing technologies. Paul, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you so much. Let's go back in time a little bit. How did you get started? So it all started with my wife. Uh, we've been married t- almost 28 years now, but for the first 10 years of our marriage, she was not, um, from a health perspective, having a lot of challenges. So she, her menstrual cycle, her thyroid issues, she was highly anemic. And so I was looking for ways to help her. That's really what inspired me to create uh, the hydrogen devices. Okay. So how did you go from, did you have a background in research or medical science And then as you started looking, how did you arrive that hydrogen water solutions would be the answer to her prayers? Great question. So yes, I've always been in medical my entire career. At that time, I was a podorthist. I was working with those with diabetes and looking to help uh, prevent limb, you know, big amputations, basically. So it was in the limb salvage business is what we call it because we wanted to prevent amputations. So in that process of looking, and I'm, I'm, I'm always looking for modalities or <clears throat> new ways to improve health and, and specifically to prevent disease. That's what I've always been interested in doing. And so I was doing research because I was reading some literature where people were reporting that water because of different pH could help the body, but I didn't agree with that. And now we know it's not true, but I didn't agree that changing the pH of water really would have a medical effect or a health effect on the body. But what I did discover in that process is that if there's hydrogen gas dissolved in the water, then there are significant health or medical benefits. And now we have almost 1200 studies showing over 200 disease models that are bettered by hydrogen gas. And so that that's really in a nutshell what happened. It was researching. And I'm sure the longer version's in one of your books somewhere. <laughs> um, yeah. Let's. So how does the hydrogen have that effect? Why does high, so al- alkaline water doesn't make the difference, but if we add hydrogen to it, everything changes. How does that happen? Well, that, ha- well, if we really go back our bodies in our intestinal tract are designed to produce hydrogen gas. So when you eat foods that have fiber or short chain or medium chain fatty acids, there are wonderful bacteria called hydrogen trophs in the intestinal tract that are part of the anaerobic microflora family that convert fiber and fatty acids into hydrogen gas. And we are designed, our bodies are designed to be able to produce 10 to 12 liters of hydrogen gas per day. Now we call these flatulence, right? That's, you have hydrogen, you have methane that are coming out the tailpipe of the body. But the reality is because of widespread gut damage, we no longer have the ability. Most people do not have the ability to produce the hydrogen because their gut bacteria is not correct. And so this leads to a lot of issues from food allergies to emotional issues, a lot of different things. 
But from a medical perspective, it leads to oxidation rising and going into an oxidative stress situation. So you end up with oxidative stress and inflammation, and this is the leading cause of disease, all disease. Okay, so introducing hydrogen into our water, getting it into our systems, obviously 1,200 medical studies, that's a significant measure of the impact. So when you realize, when you discovered that that was the solution, why not just go buy something that already exists on the market? If it existed, why invent and start a company? There was nothing out there. There was nothing That's in the world. <laughs> there was nothing. So there, there were alkaline water machines. And, and in fact, I was in that industry. I was the largest uh, company in that industry at that time. We were selling thousands of machines that were producing alkaline water. Well, the reality with alkaline water is when the machines or the electrolysis devices are brand new, they produce a lot of hydrogen and they dissolve it very well. But alkaline <clears throat> water machines, once you have them for a few weeks, especially in hard water areas, the cathode, the, one of the electrodes in, in the machine in the electrolysis process will get scale buildup or calcium buildup. And once that happens, the hydrogen gas bubbles coalesce or, or group together and get too large and you can't dissolve them. So that's why the alkaline water, the pH itself never had any benefit. It was just a byproduct of electrolysis. And if you had hydrogen gas, then you would have benefits. And so people that would buy these new machines would have these benefits and feel amazing, but then they would forget in a few weeks when it was gone that, hey, they, they forgot that they had this wonderful miracle event. So really what I did is I've developed a device that does not change the pH of the water, but does dissolve hydrogen without having to clean and maintain the machines. That's the big difference. Okay, so how does one invent a machine that adds hydrogen to the water? Well, largely, I, I mean, I didn't invent electrolysis, right, right? Right, 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 So Dr. Anthony Carlisle in the year 1800, he discovered electrolysis of water because he was wanting to, what? Get hydrogen out of water molecules. So what electrolysis does is it takes a water molecule, which is H2 and O, and once those gases combine, they make a liquid. Well, electrolysis breaks apart that bond and you end up with hydrogen gas and oxygen gas and what we do is we send the oxygen gas out back into the atmosphere and we dissolve the H2 molecule. That's really what was the benefit. Now, as many people that invent things or, de or develop things, I would, I would use that in my situation. I don't know that I want to call myself an inventor, but the reality is because I didn't discover hydrogen gas and I didn't discover electrolysis. What I did was have some very high level scientists that I said, look, this is what we're looking to accomplish. We've had electrolysis in the past, but, but there are problems with electrolysis. There are inherent weaknesses of electrolysis. So let's, let's change electrolysis a little bit so that we're just producing hydrogen gas without changing the pH. And so actually in my machines, we have what I call a hydrogen module which the, the spacing of the electrodes are completely different than in normal electrolysis that would make alkaline water. We cannot physically alter pH the way we have assembled the module with the spacing of the electrodes. What we do is we actually harvest the hydrogen gas. And so it's, it's very important. And, and really the two things that we do is, is hydrogen gas, which we have 1100 studies. And then I change the electrical potential of the water, which can restore the gut function in the body. So when we talk about having the gut function, we're talking about the bacteria balance in the gut. And so we do both of those things. And the company has obviously been incredibly successful. How did you bring it to market? How did you get the word out so that so many people would take advantage of it? Well, thank you. So it started in 2011 and then 2012, January, 2012, we began shipping the first devices. I went on radio shows. I was already a speaker and a lecturer in the natural medicine community. And so I continued speaking and just changed the message to be focused on hydrogen gas. And so coincidentally, the first major study came out in 2009. Nature Medicine published the first study showing hydrogen 
as a selective antioxidant, not like any other antioxidant that's an electron donor, but it was a selective antioxidant that only reacted with react, what's called reactive oxygen species, or in other words, things that destroy mitochondrial function and cell function. And so that was beautiful. That really woke up the medical community, the scientific community. And so at the same time I began lecturing, there began to be some studies. And since 2009, we now have 1200 studies. Prior to that, we didn't have many at all, actually. It was very difficult when I was doing my research to try and find anything or something. And I only had found one study that showed dissolved hydrogen having benefits. Since I began lecturing and that study from Nature Medicine came out, there's now almost 1,200, 1,192 to be exact. And so it's, it's new. And that's why people don't know about it. That's why our greatest challenge is to educate medical professionals, lay individuals, everyone to understand that whether they have joint issues or they have brain function, neurologic issues like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's and bipolar, schizophrenia, there's studies on all of these pathologies showing that hydrogen can help. And that's what we spend our day doing is educating. Last weekend, I was in Chicago. I had two lectures at a medical conference. This weekend, I'll be in Laguna Niguel, California, and I'll be lecturing on Saturday to educate some CEOs and things so that their employees can find out. So, I mean, really, I need all the help in the world because getting the word out is critical for people because their diseases are on the rise. We have more and more diseases every day, more and more people getting, having issues with immune function and what have you. So this is the greatest way. The three things that hydrogen does extremely well is in, increase gut function, which understands 70% of immune function is tied to gut health. So we're increasing immune function for people, which I think if anyone has understood anything in the last year and a half, it's that and it's important. Also brain function, cognitive function, and as well as uh, our ability, energy levels and ability to not have fatigue or chronic fatigue. So these are three ways in which hydrogen really helps people. And we're just wanting to get the word out. That is absolutely incredible. Your passion is obvious. What do you like best about what you're doing? What I like best is changing lives. Honestly, I, I'm, a, I'm a servant type of mentality. I love to serve others. And if they're laying in bed or can hardly move around, they're never gonna serve another person because they're barely able to get up themselves. I, I love preventing disease. I love educating people so that they can understand how to live a more fulfilling life. And what I always say is, we really are in the business of helping people accomplish their divine potential, right? As, a, as an individual, everyone has potential. And if we can get them feeling better and healthy and not having joint issues and brain issues and gut issues, they can actually live a fulfilling life. And that's what our desire is. Amen to that. Well, congratulations on all of the success and all the lives you've been able to affect. For our viewers and our listeners who want to learn more, where is the best place for them to go? Synergyscience.com. So S-Y-N-E-R-G-Y science.com. All right. This has been Seth Green with Paul from Synergy Science. Paul, thanks again for joining us. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Thanks everybody for watching or listening. We will talk to you or see you next time. Do you need money to fund your idea, product, or service? Are you ready to take your business to the next level, but need capital to get it done? Kevin Harrington has heard more than 50,000 pitches and knows how to help you make the perfect pitch to get the funding for your entrepreneurial dream. He's distilled the process down in his perfect pitch cheat sheet, and it's yours for free. Just text PITCH to him right now at 727-888-2100. Text PITCH to 727-888-2100 right now and claim your free perfect pitch cheat sheet. Text PITCH to 727-888-2100 to start funding your dream today. This show has been produced by Market Domination, LLC. To discover how you can have your own show completely done for you and turn it into a real published book and become the authority in your marketplace, go to www.marketdominationllc.com slash podcast offer.